on the roster, Granny Golden Posture. Ty will be taking charge now because I will be going into the soundproof booth. I will be <laughs> on the bench. I will be uh, uh, chastised and, and put under all the pressure uh, because for those of you who don't know or haven't caught on yet, uh, I, I've been a diehard professional wrestling fan since I was five, since 1994, since the first time I saw The Undertaker and Yokozuna uh, wrestle in a, in a casket match at the Royal Rumble. Uh, that's when I was sold. And ever since then, uh, it, it's been it's been an, another passion of mine. So this is going to be interesting to see how many of these I can get right. And uh, <clears throat> I'm excited to just test myself, see how well I, I do. So Ty, uh, whatever you're ready, take it away, man. All right, Mike, and the uh, first name I'm going to put out there to you, and everybody remember, these are the real names of these wrestlers slash football players. There will be no wrestling aliases used in this game. <laughs> this first player, Mike, was a uh, kind of a, a slasher as a defensive end and an outside linebacker, so he still fits the lineman mold. Wrestling in the WCW with a uh, tag team partner and fellow NFL alum, Steve McMichael, the former Chicago Bear. Kevin Green wrestled and later hmm. teamed with the likes of such greats as Bill Goldberg to take on the NWO Black and White and even Roddy Piper and Ric Flair to take on Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and six. <laughs> Was Kevin Green on the Packers roster or a green and gold imposter? Well, I know he was a coach. He was the linebackers coach in, in 2010. Are we? That is correct, but was he ever on the roster? I'm going to say no. I think he was Panthers, Steelers... I don't remember him ever being a Packer, so I'm, I'm going to say no. He's a, he's a green and gold imposter. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. That is correct. As much as he talked about the allure and the, the thrill of playing at Lambeau Field throughout his career, he never actually joined the Packers and played for the home team. Yeah, I, don't, I, didn't, I knew he was a coach. one down. I, you were trying to trick me on that because I knew he was the coach, but I don't think he, I'm pretty sure he never played for the Packers. So, one for one. Well, it, it makes you think. Yeah, yeah. It, and this one, because it, it was hard to... Some guys get kind of kind of obscure and whatnot, and this one is one that I honestly had to think about for a second because I never really dove into his football career, but it's closer to being a gimme. You gave me a Tony Mandarich gimme on, some, on our draft... <laughs> green and gold imposter <laughs> show so i'm gonna throw this one out there to you a man who is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time one of the biggest stars ever and even has made a return to the wwe bill goldberg the beast himself former defensive tackle mm. played at georgia in college the a decent stint in the nfl nothing Nothing groundbreaking, but was in the NFL, was Bill Goldberg on the Packers roster or a green and gold imposter? Now, I know he was, I know he played for the Atlanta Falcons. I know that for sure. He did. Um, but did he play for the Packers? Oh. He played, he was on the roster of one other team in the NFL as well as Surprisingly enough, a short stint in the CFL with the Sacramento Gold Miners, but there was another NFL team he played for. God. Goldberg. I, I'm going to say no. I don't think he was I don't think he I don't think he was on the Packers roster at any time. So I'm I'm going to say uh Hang on a second. That's not my final answer. Um, <laughs> See, it's got, I've got you thinking. Well, I, I've... Something I feel like he may have had a stint in Green Bay, but I'm not, I'm not even 50% sure on that. I just... 
I feel like I remember hearing that at some point. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I, I'm, I'm going to go with my gut and say he's a green and golden poster. He was never on the Packers roster. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. Final answer. Pat yourself on the back. Give that gut a rub. He was selected by the expansion team in 1995, the Carolina Panthers. He never actually appeared in a game and was actually the first player in history to have been cut by the Panthers. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a hell, hell of a, <laughs> that's a hell of a, uh, an achievement, I know, right? you know? So, all right, two for two. So good. All right, I'm going to hit you with another one here, and this is the one that actually inspired me to put this list together because it was one that I actually never knew. This man uh, played uh, his college ball at Miami as an offensive lineman back in the days when, you know, offensive linemen generally went at 270 pounds. Uh, came out, was actually an undrafted free agent going into his professional career a man by the name of Larry Fole say that again Larry Fole Larry Fole he had a much better known ring name but I can't give it to you he did wrestle in the WCW as well as the WWF I'm gonna say he was on the roster. I mean, I can't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm because this was a guy who I never, I didn't know ever played professional football, and it got me digging into. I wonder who played for the Packers. So, wh what's your answer? I'm gonna say he was on the Packers roster at at, at one point. I don't know who the hell Larry Fole is, to be honest with you. But I'm, I'm going to say he was on the roster. You would be correct. He was indeed on the Packers roster, though he spent the entire season with the Packers on injury reserve with, uh, I believe it was a leg injury. Larry Fole was a two-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion and one-time WWA World Heavyweight Champion, as well as a five-time WCW US Champion. He challenged for every title in the WWF, including the WWF World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam in 93 and WrestleMania 10 in 94, and was the 94 Royal Rumble co-winner with Bret Hart. Do you know who it is now? Lex Luger. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. Exactly. Wow. Huh. Lex Luger was a Green Bay Packer. Wow. That now that you say that, I, I that does ring a bell. I I I remember Lex Luger being referred to as a former Green Bay Packer. And he played what position? Offensive tackle. Huh. In uh, nineteen eighty two. Wow, that's that's pretty. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess you, well, <laughs> we're all learning. That's things three here, down, folks. Mike. Like, and you're three was, for three. Let's see if you can keep this going. Yeah, not only was the total package uh, a Green Bay Packer, but uh, apparently his name's Larry F Fole. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I so didn't know that. I, I was just assumed they just called him Lex. I don't know. Hell, I don't know. I knew Lex Luger wasn't his real name, but it's a much better yeah. name than Larry Fole. <laughs> well, and, uh, moving on to our next wrestler, a man with uh, three for three, a sizable, sizable personality, and another, another lineman. This man actually played center and went to college at Colorado. He only played for one NFL team for a very short time. A man going by the name of Leon Allen White. Hmm. Vader. A former. Oh, yep. There you go. You know Vader. <laughs> But was Vader, was Vader a Packer? So. I'm going to say, you said he only played for one team. He played for one team and was forced to retire after only a couple seasons due to a ruptured patella, in which he then moved on to a wrestling career. Uh, 
Vader or Packer? <laughs> this, this is a strange thing to contemplate. Was Vader a Packer? Um, I'm going to say... Leon White, a Packer. I'm going to say he it's was a very a, Wisconsin was name. <laughs> Final <Yeah>. answer? <laughs> I'm going to say he was on the roster. Final answer. Vader was indeed not on the Packers roster. He was drafted oh. in 1978 by the Los Angeles Rams with the 24th right. pick of the third round, 80th overall. His first season, That's he right. was put on the injured reserve list, but in his second season, actually played in Super Bowl fourteen against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hmm. Yeah, and I knew Vader played football. I just couldn't remember if it was for the Packers or not. I actually watched a Vader match the other night, and I remember they were talking about his football career, but I couldn't remember if they said he played for the Packers or not. But when you said the Los Angeles Rams, that's that does ring a bell. Yeah. So uh I'll take an L on that one. I'll take an L on that. I'm three and one. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can go out here with a with a blaze of thunder here. I'm gonna. I gotta really concentrate. Well, on you this got. Man. You got one left, and we're reaching back in the day here to a player who played in the 1950s. Back oh, when guys routinely did have multiple jobs, and their football career was not their primary job. So. <laughs> This really uh, widens yeah. the pool here. <clears throat> he, uh, see here, was an alum of Purdue University. He actually played a lineman on both sides of the ball, as guys did back in those days. Multiple positions on mm -hmm. both lines. A man by the name of William Fritz Afflis, better known as Bill Afflis. Lord, <laughs> holy smokes! You say you really saved the the real oh, fucking hard one for last. Uh, well, and this is one that I knew before even starting this game. I am I am versed in in this man here. I've I've done a little research on him. He was an absolute monster of a man. Well, if you've done research on him already, I'm, I'm guessing I should assume that he is a Packer. Not necessarily. I'm a wrestling fan. I like. I really enjoy the old wrestlers. <laughs> You're a big Nature Boy Buddy Rogers fan, I assume. Luthez, uh, all those guys getting back there in it. Vern Gagne. Oh, let's see. What was his name? This man was actually trained by Vern Gagne. And Luthez. His name hmm. was Bill Afflis. I will, you know, I'm, I'm considering giving you his ring name just because it's so old and it's such a classic ring name. Better known as Dick the Bruiser. Dick the Bruiser. Hell yeah, man. From, uh... From the old WWA... <laughs> Yeah, see that there's there's two conflicting. I'm I'm just going through my thoughts here. There's two conflicting things. One, he was trained by Vern Gagne, which means that uh, he would he would have trained in, up in Minnesota, which is near Green Bay. But at the same time, Dick the Bruiser uh, mainly made his his career made his name in Indianapolis. So that makes me think. But there there was no Indianapolis team back then. In the fifties. Well, and so he's from Indiana. Colts he's actually Indiana. from Delphi, Indiana. Yeah. And made a a very uh, a strong start to his career in Chicago. Man, he's up north a lot. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna say he was on the roster. He's a former Packer. Final answer. Dick the Bruiser, Bill Afflis, was a Green Bay Packer. You're a smart yeah. motherfucker. That's right. This is a man whose right. hard drinking, cigar smoking ways earned him quite the reputation on and off the field, with some players even talking about having contests of strength with him back when the beer cans were made of tin instead of aluminum. Aflis was known to crush <laughs> beer cans in every way imaginable, even smashing one on his face 
just to win a contest. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's, that's, uh, and I mean, we were talking about great nicknames earlier. Dick the Bruiser. Dick the Bruiser. Best porn yeah. name ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you did well. You All actually right. did really well at this. Uh, you went. Yeah, the the, va- four the for Vader five, one caught me up. Only missing out on Vader. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I, I actually had known of Dick the Bruiser for a while. Checked him out a little bit and was watching my um, history of the Packers DVD back when I procured it in high school and found out Dick the Bruiser was a Green Bay Packer. <laughs> 